Hi Leo, welcome to your Week Ahead Taroscope with me Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. Quick note, my readings are for your Sun, Moon and Ascendant sign. So whether you're a Sun, Moon or Rising sign Leo, this is for you. And I always advise that you watch all three to get a clearer, more complete picture of how they're gonna to speak to you. With that said, remember they are general readings. Not everything's gonna resonate with everybody and that is just fine. You should always use your own discernment. Before we start, as always, I would like to bless my deck of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity, and abundance. And I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise, and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. So your key to the week this week is, uh, before we get into that, um, it's very hot here in the UK today, so you have to forgive me. I'm sweating, melting, um, you know, melting, melting. Um, I've also got a fan on, which is what the t-shirt flowing all over the place and the hum in the background is. I apologize for that, but needs a must. All right, so with that said, your key to the week this week is the emperor. Now, there's a few reasons that I love this for the Leos this week. Also, happy damn birthday to you. I truly hope you have a wonderful solar return. Remember to fill the day of your birthday with a little bit of everything that you want this whole year ahead to have in it for you. That being said, the emperor, the reason I love this is because currently, um, the so this card actually represents Aries, all right? So, and for Leos, Aries is the ninth house. This is all to do with uh, your higher goal, not your higher goals and aspirations, but it's to do with your future and broadcasting and how you get out into the world. And because at the moment, Jupiter, although retrograde, is in your um, ninth house, this feels for me like this week, the message that you're getting is there are opportunities all around you to establish yourself in some way. This is about you commanding your space in a way that only you can, right? You are the king, the queen, the person of the jungle. And so what this basically says is that this week in all of these different areas of life, you have the ability to pull rank. This isn't about being super, you know, morally superior and being a, a bit of a, a douche just because you can. This is a about commanding respect. It's about being in the space where you know you are great at what you do. This is about commanding your own self and your resources, or in some way, shape or form, stepping into the shoes of being the authority in your chosen field. For your, if you are a continued subby, you know Rafi loves you. If you're new to my channel, please don't forget to like, share, and if you should so choose and it resonates, hit the subscribe button. For your actions and options, you have the Queen of Cups. So in a lot of ways, a lot of the moves that you're making this week, a lot of the actions and options that you are taking or fulfilling this week are very much about what is aligned with your heart and more importantly is about you bringing the best of who you are to what you do. So this whole thing about stepping into those authoritative shoes or maybe being thrust into a position of leadership that you didn't ask for or maybe didn't even want, um, it's like you're leading from the heart and that's why you're being put into this space. It also suggests that a lot of the things that you want from your life, a lot of your goals, your aspirations, your dreams, the things that you really want for yourself, this is about you really putting foot to butt and saying, right, okay, from this week on, I'm going to nourish the bleep out of these goals, these wishes, these hopes, these dreams, so that I can make these things a reality. For some of you as well, not only are you stepping into the shoes of an authority, but this is about maybe you taking on some sort of new methodology. For some of you, you, you might start to learn a new discipline, a new system, uh, maybe there's some sort of new information that you're deciding to take on. And the feeling that I get from this, because you know, obviously I'm reading for my ascendant sign as well, the feeling that I get from this, because at the moment I'm like, hmm, what could that be for me? <laughs> the feeling I get from it is it might show up this week. You might not already know what that is. For some of you, you probably will, but not, not all of you. For some of you, it might literally show up this week and you're like, ah, that's the next piece of the puzzle. For your communications and conversations, you've got the eight of wands. Communications, conversations, there's gonna be a lot to talk about. There's gonna be a lot of information exchange, potentially information overload this week, but there's nothing wrong with that. This is about really chunking it all down and making sure that you can get to it. But there is a lot of communication. There's a lot of plans being made. There's a lot of things that you're doing. There's a lot of moving parts this week. And for that reason, 
you also have to nourish yourself. You also have to be kind and good with yourself, right? But this is a week where there are gonna be some really powerful interactions, some big conversations shaping up. Uh, I love it for that reason. I would also say as well, for some of you, this might be a week where you decide to go back to uh, distance learning. For those of you that are studying or in some form of academia, this is you maybe thinking further afield when it comes to your study. So maybe some of you are choosing to study with somebody internationally. For others, this could be that you are becoming a teacher in some way, shape or form. Um, for a lot of you, I think this could be that you're starting to really get clear on what it is that you feel is your offering to the world with the addition of whatever this new thing is going to be. For those of you that are um, employed by somebody else, Honestly, I think this could be, so let's say you're part of a corporate company and a lot of corporate companies nowadays, like the head office is in like a completely different country. And this week, I kind of feel like maybe you're interacting with the higher ups in your job, with the higher ups in your company, or at least your, your name is in certain mouths that you are not as yet aware of. And when this comes to light and you start to realize wow, you actually know who I am? That's kind of cool. Um, I think you could be pleasantly surprised and I think you could be really excited about this and it bodes very, very well for your future. For those of you that are um, business owners, entrepreneurs, solopreneurs, people that work for themselves, Honestly, I think this is a lot of you really starting to understand the value and the power in really good connections. A lot of Leos for a very long time now, especially Leo Ascendants, have been quite hermetic and I feel like a lot of you are starting to really step out of that now. This is you really starting to, you know, kind of say, okay, you know what? We need more interaction with the world. We've got to start building better networks. Do you know, da, 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 da. Uh, for those of you that are, um, retired and no longer working. Honestly, I love this because it looks like you're taking time to think about who the quality conversation and communication comes from. For those of you that are actively looking for work, it's gonna be through your networks, potentially from a mother, a sister, an aunt, or somebody on the sort of female feminine side of your, your world. Those are the people that are bringing you the opportunities that you need. Women in general will be bringing you what you need this week, but also don't be afraid to get a little bit rough and tumble with all of it, okay? Like this is a time where you really need to show up for yourself. For your love and relations, you've got the Six of Cups. For those of you that are single and looking, it could be that you're actually reconnecting with somebody this week that you have... Um, yeah, it could be that you're reconnecting with somebody from your past that you hadn't expected to. Honestly, I don't see it going beyond a few dates. Um, maybe there's lots of banter, maybe it's really flirty, really fun, but it doesn't look like it's any more than that. Um, but it's gonna really make you very happy and there's a lot of nourishment that comes from it on a soul level. For those of you that are partnered, married, or in long-term commitments, for a lot of you, it looks like you're having conversations about a family, potentially. For those of you that are um, uh, partnered, married in long-term commitments that don't want kids or you already have kids, this is about you bringing back the good old days of the relationship. So Leo itself is already a very nostalgic sign. And I feel like this is bringing that in in some way, all right? Like, the, the, you know, the, the best years of our relationship are starting to come back. For your money and materials, you have the judgment card. To say this is a week of acceleration when it comes to your finances is an understatement, all right? There's some big jump that's being made this week. And I think the, the thing that I would probably say to you is, this feels like, you know when you set yourself a stretch goal, and it happens way sooner than you're ready for, and you kind of have to, you know, like, oh, okay, I've got to adjust to make this part of my current reality. This is very much that. Um, the judgment card is, it's, you know, whether you want it this quick or not, it shows up for you. You are having to really adjust to make something that you've been working towards for a while, 
or that you've decided that you want or need or desire shows up for you way quicker than you had anticipated and you have to adjust and adapt accordingly. You will, because you've got that eight of wands there, which, you know, it means the assimilation is possible. But with the emperor card here, this almost <laughs> suggests that in some way you're thrust into the limelight or you're thrust into a position of leadership that you're like, okay, I don't know if I'm equipped for this. You know, <laughs> it's like, you know, if you're from my generation, the way they taught us to swim, they just literally threw you in the deep end of the pool and said, if they get into trouble, I'll get them out. If not, I'm sure they'll be fine. That's what they did with us. And in the end, we were all right. <laughs> Nothing to be said about childhood trauma. But, <laughs> but uh, jokes aside, when it comes to your, your finances or your resources, the judgment card suggests that your financial situation and experience changes quickly this week very interesting when it comes to your physical health and vitality the judgment card for me is always chronic situations but because you've got the emperor card there and the eight of wands this could be a piece of information that somebody from overseas maybe somebody in a facebook group somebody suggests something about your i'm not a doctor i can't give you medical advice um but it's like you know maybe you're in a group or a forum for a chronic situation that you have somebody suggests something to you or says oh you know i had that and i did this this and this um you know and it really worked for me and it's like you're getting information that is outside of what's the norm and it helps you with a chronic situation it helps you manage it much better and that could actually have a profound effect on how your doctor or your you know medical profession um professional actually treats you so you know there could be a breakthrough in health this week which is great and then finally when it comes to your home and environment look i gotta be honest with you this is a card of change all right yes it's blasts from the past which by the way for those of you that are single um you know and, and ready to mingle you could definitely be interacting with someone from your past and you know it could be great for a short time not much more than that um Although there's other ex exceptions to the rule because it is the judgment card. It's a, it's such a, a packed card, this one. You, you can't ever really hammer it down to one thing. Um, but then when it comes to your uh, home and environment, for a lot of you, it looks like home is about to change if it hasn't already. So this could be that you're settling into the new place. Um, but it also suggests, because it is the judgment card, um, you're starting to really think about where you're going to live from here on in uh, and for a lot of you plans that you had to do one thing could now look very very different like this week you could let's say you decided that you wanted to buy a home in your hometown and all the rest of it and it's like something happens this week and you decide, you know what, I'm moving across the country and I'm gonna buy a house there, or I'm gonna build my own house, or you know, let any number of things, but it, this is a profound change. Where you started heading compared to where you are going to be going this week will be very, very different opposite ends of the coin. With that said, I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. Have a fantastic week. Let me know in the comments how it shapes up. Take care and I'll see you soon.